These Instagram pages have grown massive followings and because of this, they're able to make money on their accounts in many different ways. Now they did this all by posting simple text-based social media posts. And if you look closely, these pages tend to have hundreds of posts, why not you're thinking? That would take way too long for me to do. Well, I'm here to tell you that it doesn't need to take you that long, which is why in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create 50 Instagram posts in 5 minutes. I'm going to show you how to generate the post ideas, how to generate the posts, how to schedule the posts, and of course, how exactly you can make money from your page the first thing you need to do is decide what niche you're going to build your page about okay and in order to do this we want to head over to chat gpt once on chat gpt what we need to do is ask it this prompt and the prompt reads give me 10 popular niches for instagram text-based theme pages okay now these niches are more in general and you can also have a bit more fun with these niches if you want niches that you can specifically monetize then you can go ahead and ask chat gpt this prompt which reads give me 10 popular niches for instagram text-based theme pages that can be monetized okay and and then once you've gone through all the niches and find one that you like, what you need to do is copy it from ChatGPT, get over to a notepad, and then you're going to paste it in there, okay? The next thing you need to do is go to Instagram, and then once on Instagram, you need to search in the niche that you're going into, and I want you to identify three pages with a good follow count, and then you're also going to write that into your notepad. Now, the reason you want to do this is so that once you go into the process of actually creating your Instagram page, you can have these three pages as inspiration in regards to the aesthetic and the ideal look of the pages within that niche. So you know what's doing well just so that you could replicate that in your own way okay so now the next thing you need to do is actually generate those instagram posts okay so what you need to do is come back over to chat gpt okay and then we're going to go ahead and ask chat gpt for this prompt and the prompt reads give me 50 social media posts about the topic career and advice this is where you would put your niche the niche you chose from chat gpt and then you're going to say include title then a short specific explanation of the title and then you're going to ask it to put that information into a table okay and then as you can see chat gpt has begun creating me a table and if at some point chat gpt stops generating the information for you all you need to do is tell it to continue the table and as you can see it's going to continue generating a table till you get to number 50 okay so now that we have the post generated the next thing we need to do is actually create those instagram posts so the way you're going to go about doing this is you're going to go over to google and then you're going to do a search for google sheets okay or simply sheets and then you're going to come across one of these what you want to do is click where it says google sheets sign in and then you're going to be logged into your account so then what you need to do is click where it says blank sheets and then we can go ahead and add the title for our sheet as instagram posts and now that you've created the sheet you need to head back over to chat gpt and now on chat gpt what we're going to do is copy the title explanation and hashtags okay come back over to the sheet click on the first one and then hit paste and as you can see it's created our three table headings okay then you're going to come back over to chat gpt and then you're just going to copy this entire table and then you're going to come back over to sheets you're going to click on the first one and then you're just going to hit paste it looks a little bit stuck together so what you need to do is just double click each cell see it's expanded it and then double click this cell and that's how you put your information into the table okay you just copy it from chat gpt and then just place it into your google doc sheet okay so you're just going to keep doing this till you have all 50 of your posts now once you've pasted all of them what you need to do is come over to where it says file and then you're going to click where it says download and then you're going to download this as a csv file okay and then as you can see it's going to be downloaded to the computer so that's the first section to generating the post now to create the post using what we just got from chat gpt you need to head over to canva.com you can find the link for canva in the description of this video now once on canva what you need to do is do a search for instagram post okay and then it's going to show you all these options if you want you can use any of the as you can see over 400 templates but for this video we're just going to click where it says create a blank instagram post and now what we need to do is create the first social media post and that's all you're going to have to do just create one and just to remind you our niche is within career and advice okay so what i'm first going to do is head over to where it says elements i'm going to do a search for career and then i'm going to search where it says graphics so i like this one so i'm going to just click this one and then i'm just going to put it at the very top here okay and then now that i have this graphic what i'm going to do is change the color of the background in order to do this i'm going to select the background select this little paint swabber here and then i'm going to select the color black now the reason why i'm selecting the color black some pages have the black aesthetic for example like this one and oftentimes they do well and then for our hat i'm going to go ahead and change the border color because it's kind of washing in and then the ones that was previously white i'm going to change it to black the next thing i'm going to do is go back to elements and then i'm going to add a shape and the reason why i'm doing this is because i want a border of this image in order to get this once i've added the shape what i'm going to do is now drag it to the edge what i'm going to then do is click where i could see the color and then i'm going to set it to no color okay then i'm going to click these lines which is the border style i'm going to click border style and then i'm going to click this one what i then need to do is change the border color so now if i can click out of this as you can see it has this nice blue border so i can click onto it and make it a tad bit bigger so over here where i could see border style i can 
drag it to be big and I think 10 is a good number. So now the next thing I need to do is add in my Instagram pages name. So I'm going to go ahead and just click the word text. So I'm going to click add a heading and then let's just say for example my page name was career tips. All I'm going to do is add in the word at career tips. Now if I wanted to I could also change the font by clicking on it. You can where it says canvas sans and then it's going to show us all the different fonts we could choose from. And then I'm going to make this very small and then I'm going to bring it to the very bottom of my Instagram post and then with the name still selected I'm going to click this icon over here which is transparency I'm going to bring it all the way down to about 15 just so that the name of my page would not be the forefront of my post as again you don't want it to be now that we have this done the post is almost ready what I then need to do is add a heading okay and then I'm just going to call this title and then I'm going to add another heading and then I'm going to call it explanation okay so I'm just going to bring it a little bit lower now the one thing about this is that you're not sure how exactly the text will fit once you've began importing it what I recommend is now going back over to sheets okay and then I'm going to copy the first title come back over to canva and then I'm going to click here and then I'm going to paste in that title and now that it's here I can actually play with the sizing so I know when I import the other ones I don't have it too big okay and then I'm going to do the same thing for explanation and just like that I have the design of my Instagram post ready to go now that I have design one ready I can go ahead and create all the other 50 designs as if that would take forever which is why we're going to use this canva feature which does this for us and in order to get that feature what you need to do is head over to where it says apps okay and then once you've selected apps what you're going to do is do a search for bulk creates and once you've done that you're going to see all these options you're going to click this one and then from here as you can see it's telling you to add your data okay so you can choose to add the data in manually or upload csv and then as you can remember earlier we downloaded our csv file from google sheets so this is where you select upload csv and upload that file into this location okay now once you've done that as you can see it shows us three tables which is the title explanation and hashtags now we need to connect that data with the data on our instagram post so the way you'll go about doing this is click onto your title then you're going to click onto the three dots and then you're going to click where it says connect data and then you're going to select title now as you can see it's connected our title okay and then you're going to do the same thing for explanation and now you can see our explanation has now been connected now again we don't really care about the hashtags in this instance so we're just going to leave it out and just like that we're going to hit continue as you can see it's selected everything and then we can say generate 50 pages and then as you can see at the bottom here it says page one of 50 and now remember when this is done you don't have to keep it like that you can go ahead and fix things up if you want for example as you can see number five is overlapping what we'd want to do is click onto it and then we can just reduce the size over here okay till it fits essentially what it's done is created those 50 instagram posts for us okay it did a bulk of the work and it's ironic because it's called bulk create just know that you don't have to create 50 you can create 10 at a time okay you can design 10 different styles so it's not the same post each time okay and then you can alternate from this post but this helps so that you have lots of information so that you can post multiple times a day begin gaining traffic which will help you gain that money okay now once you have your post created in order to download them all you need to do is click where it says share hit where it says download and then as you can see it says all pages it tells you png so all you need to do is click download and now another great benefit thank you to technology you don't have to upload these posts on the day you want to post them you can take one day to schedule all your posts and that way and as the days goes by you don't even have to look at your page but the post will be uploaded and your page will be growing in order to schedule your post you can do this two ways okay you can use a software which is specifically made for this for example something like planable which allows you to schedule all your posts from within the site or you can actually schedule your posts using instagram itself all you need to do is make sure that when you create your account it's a professional account and you can schedule up to 25 posts per day and you can schedule up to 75 days in advance and as you can see over here instagram themselves tell you exactly how you can go about scheduling this post okay so here's the instructions or you can go ahead and just find this article on google for yourself now for the part you've been waiting for how exactly do you make money from this pages well there's many ways you can but i'm going to tell you about the three most profitable ways number one is of course affiliate marketing if you're not sure what that is i talk about it a lot on my channel but what essentially what you need to do is find an affiliate product to promote on your instagram page okay and you can go about finding a product on affiliate networks for example clickbank digistar 24 impact radius share a sale there's many networks and once you find that affiliate product that you want to promote all you need to do is get the affiliate link copy that link and add it into your instagram bio so what you would be doing is then generating traffic via your posts and if they're engaged with your page then once they click that link in your bio and purchase whatever it is that you're an affiliate of you'll make a commission for that and that's how you make money okay the second way you can go about making money on your instagram page is by giving shout outs what you need to do is set up prices for different services and if people want to advertise on your 
your page they'll pay you for that and i want you to know that people do this all the time i personally have paid for shout outs on many instagram pages but i recommend start smaller and then increase your prices as your page grows and of course you can collect these payments using something like paypal or even stripe and the third way you can go about generating money from your page is by selling products in the link in your bio there's a variety in products you can sell but some examples of those products are ebooks just make sure the ebook you created is within your niche and you can create these ebooks using a platform like bookbolts you can find the link for bookbolts in the description and once you've created those ebooks you can either list them on amazon or etsy for free and once you've done that you can just place a link for your store within your description and then the traffic you've generated can then purchase that okay and another type of products you can create is print on demand products okay these items range from stickers t-shirts hoodies mugs it all depends on what you want as well as what you think your audience would want and you can create all those designs using a platform like printify and the benefits of using that is that you don't pay for the items up front all you do is design them and only once somebody purchases these items you actually have to pay for them okay so that's three great ways you can monetize your page affiliate marketing shout outs and selling your own products okay and of course the money will start to come in a bit slowly as your page grows as your followers increase so will your money so if having an instagram text-based theme page something that interested in you now you know how you can get started with a page without taking your entire life to start generating the posts and now you also know how you can start earning money from those types of pages but if you want to learn more ways you can make money online then be sure to check out this other video on my channel